What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day as always. So today's video, we're gonna go over why I chose the JK Dana 30 and rear Dana 44 for my axle swap in my 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm gonna go over some pros and cons of that specific axle setup, um, plans I have with those axles to build them up before I put them into the Jeep, and then reasons that even the JK Dana 30 front is better than the WJ Dana 30 front. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So when you begin looking into an axle swap, a lot of people say you need tons. A lot of people will go Rubicon axles. And the reason that I didn't go with either of those options is because this is going to be more of a budget build and I already have a Wrangler's reel built up for off-roading. So let's go ahead and jump right into why I chose the front Dana 30 out of a JK. So the stock Dana 30 out of a WJ is not high pinion. However, the stock Dana 30 out of a JK is high pinion. That being said, the high pinion gives you a little bit stronger ring and pinion gear. And these axles are a little bit wider than the WJ axles, which will make it a little bit harder to roll over off-road. That's a, kind of a concern of mine just because we will be putting on a six and a half inch long arm kit. And I do know that the JKU on a four inch lift has come close in a couple situations. So I want to prevent that as much as possible. Now some cons to this setup is you're still on a Dana 30 front. Um, you're not on one ton axles. So you are limited to tire size there. I think I'll comfortably run 35 inch tires with no problem, especially with my style of wheeling. I like to technically take lines. I don't like to send it up hills. I like to pick a line, stick to it, and try to drive the hill, drive the obstacle, whatever we have to face in the trails. Let's go ahead and go over how I'm going to beef up these axles before I swap them in. So for the front, I already ordered an Artec Dana 30 truss along with the Artec raised track bar mount. This will accommodate everything I need to swap it into the Grand Cherokee. I'll just have to move the coil buckets in about around an inch so that the coil sits straight. For the rear, I already would have needed a truss since we're going to a four link rear. So that won't be too difficult. We'll just get a truss that is designed for the JK Dana 44 with a four link. I also do plan on going chromoly shafts in these axles just for a little bit of extra security and I'm not gonna break axle shafts or anything like that on the trails and there will be storage in the rear of this jeep that we're going to be custom making and it's going to hold extra axle sh shafts for this jeep along with the wrangler it's going to hold a ton of extra parts in case we break on the trail it's going to hold all the tools and everything but we will be doing a full video on all the steps of this axle build and the swap so you guys can see how to do it you guys can do it at home i'll be tearing these axles fully apart i'll be cleaning them up repainting them welding on the trusses myself i am by no means a professional welder or anything close to it but I have been practicing and I do feel comfortable doing it myself. So I hope you guys join us along with this axle swap and I hope you guys enjoy this Grand Cherokee content. You guys have been killing it with the views recently on the Grand Cherokee videos. And I love bringing you guys this content. This Jeep is so fun to build. It's honestly a lot more fun to build than the Wrangler just cause it's a lot cheaper to build and it's a lot more fun. Um, I feel more comfortable trying things that I haven't done before on this Jeep. So I hope you guys stay tuned for the whole build and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.